Hey guys, it's Sarah from Welcome Bus Lady. So today we're gonna talk about the Ethereum Classic and what actually has been going on. So my title might be a little bit misleading as this is no longer applicable. However, that is obviously due to the Coinbase effect of when the coin pumps and then it dumps as it gets listed. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, you probably saw it. We've got Ethereum Classic currently down when the rest of the market is currently in green following yesterday's miserable dip. And Ethereum Classic has, for some time now, has been referred to as the most undervalued cryptocurrency in the market. This situation is probably going to be a thing of the past following the announcement that Coinbase is listing Ethereum Classic and also Robinhood's added it. And then we've got another cryptocurrency exchange that's adding Ethereum Classic pairing. And perhaps this is a sort of a push that Ethereum Classic has been waiting for a while. Ethereum Classic is basically known as the original Ethereum blockchain and that is because after the hack attack on the Ethereum blockchain in 2016, Ethereum Classic did not hard fork to reverse the stolen funds. However, the second largest crypto in the market, Ethereum, reversed the funds through a hard fork, therefore changing the original code. Ethereum Classic has for a long time existed in the shadows of the popular Ethereum. The crypto is currently embracing the boost due to the listings on major currencies exchanges not only in the US but basically everywhere in the world. So on Monday Robinhood announced that they had launched Ethereum Classic trading in 19 US states. This quickly propelled Ethereum Classic to a high of $21 pushing it to the 10th coin on coin market cap rankings with a market cap of value over 2 billion. And this push in value was also topped by the market ex expectation that Coinbase will be listing Ethereum Classic yesterday. Even after today's market drop, Ethereum Classic still one of the coins that is trading quite high. And Ethereum Classic was listed on Coinbase. Ethereum trading gone live on August the 7th. And the announcement from Coinbase last week said that the company is in the final testing, so they had like different stages before the listing goes actually live. It went ahead to say that the ETC transfers will begin to take place on Tuesday the 7th. Trading will initially be available to Coinbase Pro and Coinbase Prime users only. So Coinbase Pro is a cryptocurrency exchange for individual traders and Coinbase Prime is an institutional marketplace for those of you who don't know. Other customers will not be allowed to trade with the asset just yet. However, the company will open the trading to Coinbase customer in a period of one to two weeks. And as it says over here, we plan to add support for Ethereum Classic on Coinbase customers when sufficient liquidity is established. We expect this to occur approximately only one two weeks after trading begins on Pro and Prime, as it says on the Twitter. And by getting listed on Coinbase and Robinhood, and I'm gonna get on to the next listing that they had recently, Ethereum Classic is now available to a wider investor community in the US. This means that its demand is guaranteed to keep rising due to a higher access by American investors. And I also want to point out that if you open the Coinbase Consumer app, you will see that the cheapest available crypto crypto asset is Ethereum Classic. And for crypto noobs, they'll probably go for the quantity of a coin rather than quality. I'm not trying to say that Bitcoin at 8,000 is not really a quality. However, what I'm trying to say is that the amount that people will be able to purchase for the amount of money that I can with, for example, one Ethereum will be comparable to a possible wider adoption of Ethereum Classic because it'll be a bargain on Coinbase, if you guys know what I'm trying to say. So before we actually check out the Ethereum Classic and how it's been doing, even though I already showed you the graph, let's check out the latest one more news about a cryptocurrency exchange and wallet service Bittrex has announced plans to launch US dollar trading pairs for two new cryptocurrencies, according to their official announcement published yesterday. And as the announcement basically says, Bittrex is looking to expand its fiat market to Ethereum Classic and Ripple on August the 20th. The new trading pairs will be added to already listed dollar markets for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether and the true USD. And basically what they said is I will continue to gradually add tokens to its USD market using a sort of a phased approach for USD trading. And Bitrix further explained that it takes a gradual approach to ramping up these markets in order to ensure quality in processes and systems 
before making them available to qualified customers. So lots of bullish news about Ethereum Classic, obviously. So let's check out how the market has been responding to it. So we've got a market cap currently at 230 billion. So it's up 9 billion since I made a video yesterday. Bitcoin is strong, still over six and a half thousand. It's down a lot from what it was. You guys can just have a quick look on the graphs over here, as you can see. And the coins that are pumping the most in top 10 are Stellar and Cardano. And you can see sort of what I'm trying to get at with the price and the amount of people that are buying it. But I'm not trying to say it's connected. However, we've got Ethereum Classic over here, which currently is up. So the tweet that I showed you guys earlier is no longer applicable. So that only shows how quick the market actually changes. So we've got Ethereum Classic. Trading currently at $15 with a market cap of one and a half billion and a position number 13, the lucky 13. So I'm obviously not going to say where you guys can get it from because basically that's what this video was all about. So guys, let me know, have you been enjoying the whole ride with Ethereum Classic? Have you been accumulating it and you made some good profits? Or have you just stayed away from it because crypto is dying? as some people keep saying, which I completely do not agree with. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like button. Subscribe to Alcoin Bus Ladies if you have not yet. Follow me at Alcoin Sarah. And Alcoin Bus Ladies, I can stay up to date with what's currently going on. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of it. And I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.